Welcome to episode 2 in the Steam Deck to Windows 11 series. Today I want to talk about TDP. Now I was going to tell you what TDP stands for and a definition that I found on the internet, but it doesn't really help. So the way I think of TDP is like the gas pedal, or accelerator pedal on your car. So when you're driving along, if you just tap that gas, uh, gas pedal, the car will go along slowly and it will probably get much further in the long run um, in terms of distance. Now, you will, when you press that accelerate, uh, sorry, accelerator pedal um, harder, you're going to burn more fuel and you're going to travel faster, but the overall distance that you're going to travel is going to come down and you'll need to refuel if you want to do longer journeys. So how does that fit in with um, TDP on the Steam Deck and these window handheld PCs? It's basically the same thing, but instead of gas, think uh, battery power. So the more TDP you you the higher the TDP you set, the more battery power it's going to consume and the less time you're going to be able to play a game. But it's it's kind of a balancing act because if you set your TDP too low um, on a AAA game, your processor is going to be starved and the game's not going to play well. So it's finding that, that fine balance between performance and battery life. Um, so on, on the Steam Deck, it's like you press, I think, uh, the triple dot button on the right and it pops up and you get, an, you, know, you get TDP and you can take it from 15 down to next to nothing. Um, it's slightly different on the various win Windows handheld gaming PCs. So I'll show you on the Lenovo Legion Go. To get access to TDP, you press the right uh, Legion uh, software button. And it's the very first, here we are, it's, it's the very first um, option on the menu currently given they don't change this around again. And what we have are four settings. And so we have quiet mode, and this equates to a TDP of 8 watts, so the lowest it can go, I believe. Um, you've got balance, which is 15 watts, if I remember correctly. You have performance, which is 20 watts. And then you have custom, which if I click on that, becomes very much like the Steam version of TDP, where you can take it anywhere from 30 watts down to 5. So 5 is actually the lowest. So this is how you would adjust TDP on the Lenovo Legion Go. Um, most of the time, probably going to want to just use a preset, and if I'm unplugged, I will normally hit the performance button, um, that's 20 watts, and that seems to be a sweet spot in terms of performance uh, and, I guess, battery life. When I'm plugged in, you know, I go all out, custom 30 watts. I don't have to con concern myself with um, the CPU heating up like I do on the ROG Ally, um, but I'll talk to that in a second. So let me move this aside, and I'll bring in the ROG Ally. Um, Okay, so, um, goodness, this feels so much lighter all of a sudden. I had thought I'd started this up already. So I'll go through how you set TDP in on the ROG Ally. Let me put my pin number in. Okay, so on the ROG Ally, it's slightly different. Let me move it up a bit closer because the tiny screen. Um, here we hit this button. It's the top button on the left. And no, it's no, it's not. We actually hit the the button below that, so the the arrow shaped button, and this brings us up into a command center. One of the first options you have on here is the operating mode, which is essentially TDP. 
let me move even, even closer. So at the moment, I've got a custom um, TDP setup, which is probably advanced setup, so I will deal with that in a later video. For the most part, you're going to just want to go through um, the usual ones that they have. So the good thing is, um, they tell you the TDP that it's operating at. So silent, which is the, the minimum on this device, is 10 watts. Um, 15 watts is performance, and 15 watts seems to be a really good um, perfor performing default, but I think 18 watts is just that little bit better for more games. But for now, just stick with 15 watts when you're unplugged. Um, we have 25 watts turbo, um, and that's the maximum you can get unplugged. And um, on the ROG Ally, the, the turbo side of things is when you first start up a game, it, it, for the first two minutes it runs at an elevated TDP and then drops down and eventually we'll get to the 25 watts. So, you know, you can cycle through them. Now, if I was plugged in, this would have 30 watts TDP uh, available. And like the uh, Legion Go, you could probably play it on that. Now, on the ROG Ally, it is renowned for running too hot. And um, I worked really hard to keep the temperatures down. I turned off the, the turbo boost side of, of um, the TDPs. I tended to run it at 18, even when plugged in. Um, and while the SD card reader never... Um, never got fried, it destroyed about three 512 gig SD cards. So this device you want to try and keep cool. Um, Asus has never done anything about it. If it does burn out your card, you have to send it back. So it's that I lived with a device because I, I replaced the SSD. But this is one of the reasons why I, I wouldn't, if I had my time again and the Lenovo Legion Go was available, I wouldn't have gone for this. But other than that, I love this device. It's great. <laughs> I just wish they did something about the SD card problem. So that's how you set the TDPs. Um, and just, a, I guess, a brief st summary is that you want to adjust your TDPs based on the sort of game that you're playing. Indie games where, um, say, 2D, they don't have an awful lot of calculations required drop drop it down to balance on the Lenovo Legion Go try it on quiet um, and you'll get far more battery life on your AAA games unplugged go for I'd say on this device 15 watts on the Lenovo Legion Go go for performance and see how they perform um, if they're not you know if they're not quite performing uh, I would say go to the higher setting but your battery life will suffer. So thank you for watching.